All right, so what you're gonna need for this install is a Phillips screwdriver, some panel tools. Depending on your screwdriver, uh, you may need an angle to get to some of the harder to reach screws. And I always like to have a magnet. All right, so where you need to start is under your driver's side dash area, your knee bolster needs to be removed. And this is just held in with some retaining clips. All right, and the reason to pop that off is you need access to these two screws here. So we can go ahead and remove those screws now. After you remove those two screws, this AC uh, climate control cluster with your um, press to start button needs to be removed. And to do that, you can get your panel removal tool. It's just held in with some ret retaining clips also. And it just pops right out. And uh, then we can unplug this and set this aside. Now, we need to access a screw underneath this top center section of the dash. So to do that, we have to pull our radio bezel, which is two Phillips screws, right underneath the bezel. And then we can pop this one off as well. You may not need to use a tool for this, but it's always nice to have one if you need it. All right, and right here, you'll see we have a screw right in the center here. So the two side screws that are holding the screen in stay in place. It's just this one in the center that you got to remove. All right, and uh, that's pretty much it. We can pull this whole panel off now. Now, this is clipped in all the way down. At the very ends, there's a couple of plastic clips, and the rest in the center are all metal. So usually the plastic clips fall off and end up in the dash somewhere. So because of that reason, this is our, our demo Jeep. Uh, we don't have those clips, so we don't have to worry about that. But we do have all the, uh, all the other metal clips in here. So the way you pull this out is you actually just pull towards you or pull towards the rear of the vehicle to release all those clips. And sometimes it's easier to work yourself around the vehicle onto the driver's side so you can pull evenly but there you can see all those metal clips that are on the back. After you get your dash trim removed, the gauge bezel here has four screws on the top holding it on, and then it's just clips on the bottom. So once you remove these four screws, you'll be able to just pop this whole panel off. I like to have the steering wheel in the, in the lowest position just to give you as much access as possible. All right, we should be able to just pop this free. This steering panel that we loosened up uh, by pulling those screws earlier needs to be popped back and it's this clips on the top here. I'll pull that and it doesn't need to be removed all the way. If we slide it kind of down a little bit, it'll just give us uh, access to the two lower screws holding our bezel on. Uh, so basically it's removing those, the two on top, and we can take our bezel out and put in our new bezel. And from here, this is where a little angle comes in handy. Same thing on the other side. Then you got the two on top. All right, once your four screws are out, simply pull your cluster out. Undo your wiring, grab your new cluster. Plug it in. All right, now it says reassembly, uh, the reverse of how we removed it. All right, once your cluster is secure, we can snap this little cover going around our steering wheel back into place. Then grab your plastic bezel for your gauges. Snap that back into place. And we'll put the screws back in. Let's grab our dash cover piece here. And we'll snap this back into place. Once that's snapped back in, we'll put our screw back into the center. 
right above the screen. All right, now we can put our radio bezel back in. That simply snaps into place. Replace the two screws we removed earlier. All right, now we're ready for our climate control and push the start button. And with the push to start button, just make sure you kind of stuff most of the wires back into the hole. Sometimes it helps to not pinch anything when you're putting that piece back in. All right, so before you put your knee bolster back in, put two screws holding on that steering wheel cover. Now all you gotta do is snap in your knee bolster. And that completes your cluster install. Uh, be sure to fill out the order form with your odometer information and VIN information when you order your cluster so we can get this programmed for your vehicle uh, and we can get the mileage right and all that stuff. Um, as well as if you wanted a custom color, you can also choose that uh, at your checkout. Uh, so for more installs like this, come back to infotainment.com.